Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Bowman with Olympia Piano and in this short video I'm going to show you how to put your hands together for a two octave arpeggio in the key of E flat major. Now the first thing I want to mention is this video will cover two octaves however you can simply shift your starting point to cover three or four octave arpeggios. And the other thing I want to mention E flat major will have the same fingering as C sharp or D flat major and A flat major. So if you've done either of those arpeggios, you can simply shift your starting note to E flat and the fingering will be the same. So we'll start with going over the notes of an E flat major arpeggio. They are the chord tones for E flat major. So Do, E flat, Mi, G, and So, B flat. So the nice thing about this arpeggio is that there is one fingering for the arpeggio. And the only thing you have to consider is, are you gonna start on finger two for the right hand, or are you gonna start on finger four in this root position? Other than that, fingers two and four are gonna be on the two black keys in the arpeggio. And the only thing that will shift will be the starting point. So either two or four is okay for the starting note here. So I'll use them interchangeably. We're going to lock in the right hand fingering with a technique called blocking. So that means I'm going to play finger four, then I'm going to play these notes at the same time. So the fingers get used to which keys they're going to be playing. One at a time, I'm going to shift my hand gently to the right, creating a little U shape here. And that's for the thumb to fold under. So if my hand were straight like this, the thumb feels like it's really reaching. However, when I shift over a little bit, it makes that interval feel a little bit smaller. And then fold. Left hand blocking, two, one, four, two, one, four, two, one, two, four. Left hand U shape is going this way, angled toward the pinky. Usually for hands together, one hand is harder than the other. I'm going to say for this root position, the right hand is slightly more difficult because the right hand has a major third. See, there's three keys in between. So if we're crossing under finger four, it's a little bit more of a reach. The left hand has a minor third, so only two keys in between for that cross with finger four. So for all three of these, the right hand will be a little bit more difficult. So for hands together, we got two on do. We'll start with two for this one. Shifting towards the pinky, right hand's going to cross under first. Now left hand fold over. Right hand fold under. Left hand fold under four. Right hand fold over with four. Now group those into groups of three. One other thing I want to mention when dealing with arpeggios with a lot of black keys, so you're going to want to get set up at the edge of the black keys. Don't get too far in for most of them and find the grip point on the black keys with your hands so you don't have flat fingers here, but there, you should be able to find a grip point at the edge that you can focus on. That'll make it more successful. The other thing I want to mention is it's okay to stand up a little bit on those black keys. You don't have to feel like your hands way down here. Stand up a little bit, give the thumbs some room to move under. So now let's go to first inversion. So we're going to put this do on top, same fingering. The only thing that's changing is now we're starting on me or G. We'll have five and four, two, one. Two and four on the black keys. Same cross. Left hand has a smaller cross. Hands together. Creating the U shapes here. Right hand thumb is going to cross under first. Left hand under. Stay at the edge of those black keys. Let's group them into three notes. Finally, second inversion, put this me on top. We've got two, four, 
one, two, four, one, two. Shifting towards the pinky. Should feel exactly the same. Four, two, one. Cross with two at the top. And putting that hands together. Right hand's gonna cross under first. Right hand has the larger cross. Now group them into groups of three. And then we're back to our right position. So three things to keep in mind for great arpeggios. Item one is take the time to lock in the fingering for each inversion. In the key of E flat, there's just one fingering. So the only thing that's changing is where we're starting. Right hand can either start on finger two or finger four, whichever one feels more comfortable. Left hand root position starts on two. Then first inversion, same fingering. Five, four, two, one. One, two, four, five. Same fingers on the black keys. And then second inversion, two, four, one, two, or four, two, one, four. So take the time to get really comfortable with fingers two and four on the black keys for this arpeggio. Item two is allow the hands to shift gently, creating a small U shape between fingers one and two. This allows the thumb more flexibility in crossing under, makes the arpeggio slightly easier. And then item three, try to play at the edge of the black keys. Don't let your hands get in too far. And okay to lift up slightly to give the thumb more space to move. Not tucking like this, just a gentle lift up. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video on how to play arpeggios in the key of E flat major, hands together. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope you will subscribe to my channel for more videos on piano technique, piano literature, and quick piano tips. Thanks again for watching.